my name is Carlos and today I'm going to be talking about graphing and later on on this presentation I'm going to be illustrating the capabilities of using free software to create high quality graphs now the purpose of this presentation aside from illustrating high quality graphs using free software is to first briefly review previous studies using Microsoft Excel GraphPad Prism and to provide an overview of maximizing the data ink ratio. Here we have a list of previous studies using Microsoft Excel. The tutorials provide instructions on how to design graphs and are well made. However, when it comes to creating crisp, high quality graphs, it has its limitations. The biggest problem with Excel is floating the zero. It is a tricky process and sometimes the zero is overfloated across different graphs, which can cause an overuse of ink and take away from the data. The practice of floating the zero value in Excel is not a very consistent process. Here we can see the zero is higher on the left and on the right is lower. The probability of a negative value covered with a text box or custom code is high. Overall, this is a sloppy process. And if you look carefully, you can see what I'm talking about. The zero here is higher than the zero over here. And here we have a bar graph. And look how much ink is being wasted. By the end of this presentation, you will have a better understanding of what I mean when I'm talking about wasting ink. And here we have a list of studies using GraphPad Prism. Honestly, I can't say anything negative about the product, as I myself have never used it for the following reason. It's expensive. Here is an example of a graph that was most likely created using GraphPad Prism. It's a high quality graph overall. We can see that the zero value has been floated. And one advantage that GraphPad Prism has over Excel is that your graph will most likely be consistent when you're floating the zero value. One of the benefits of using free software is that it would allow you to maximize the data ink ratio very easily. This is a concept introduced by Tufti 1983, and I highly suggest reading the book The Visual Display of Quantitative Information 2nd Edition. You can learn a lot from Tufti's book when it comes to graphing. There's excellent and amazing examples of a good representation of a graph. It will blow your mind away. Now, what can free software do for you compared to commercial software like Microsoft Excel and GraphPad Prism. Here I have GNumeric, and it's an excellent free software for graphing and creating high quality publication graphs. Here's an example. Using the mass, the motivation assessment skill, it is the same data and the graph has just been slightly altered from one to another to show the concept of maximizing the data, minimizing the amount of ink used. On the left, we can see the horizontal axis, the X. There's a line here, and on the right, there's no line. It has been removed, and it helps highlight the data much more. And on the left side, we have the vertical line, the Y axis, and on the right, we don't. It is not really needed, and Sample 3 does an excellent job of showing what it can do for you. You can also see that the zero value has been floated. It is somewhere down here. Here's another example, and here I'm just pushing the capabilities of free software. Same graphs, same data. The only difference here between the left and the right is that the values of the scale on the left side, they're inside the bars, and on the right side, they're outside the bars. 
but you have a white line that's removing unnecessary ink to show the data. Same data again, except we kept the white lines to show the value of the bars. And this is relative ranking. So one is most important, followed by two, three, and four. The probability of the behavior being maintained by escape is one, it takes priority. And again, I'm just showing and highlighting the capabilities of free software. Here we have the same graph that I have been displaying on the mass. If you look closely, you will notice that I mentioned that the zero value was floated, which is here. And if you also notice, you will would have seen that one is showing the greatest amount. But on the original graph, the Y scale has the value of four but the value of one is down here. When in the reversed Y scale, the value of four is over here. So can you do that in Excel? The answer is yes, but that will be very, very tedious and labor intensive. And you would, you would most likely have to have a box covering the numbers and do some heavy crafting technique probably some custom code to do what I did very easily with free software. This was very easy to do. I reversed the Y scale and it gave me what I wanted. Super easy to do using free software. Now here's a sample line graph that I created for graphing on paper. Instead of showing numbers, I'm showing letters. And this can be very useful depending on the presentation that you're doing with the data as shown in sample two of a line graph. Instead of numbers, I have letters re representing independent, verbal, modeled, and physical. Very easy to do using free software. The zero value has been floated and not a lot of ink is being wasted. If I wanted to, I could remove this space here and bring it much closer down. Here's another example of what you can do with free software. I have the number of steps on the left and what the step was on the right. All of this, again, was done using free software. Can you do this with Excel? Well, that's going to be very painful to do. Now, the next video will cover how to graph using GN Numeric, a free software that is capable of creating high quality publication graphs. Thank you for your time. This has been a presentation on using free software and what it can do to create high quality graphs.